Hey guys, hope you're doing great. Hammer's my name, and this is Timber and Stone, and version 0.3 is out. As you can see, this includes water, and that is an awesome addition to the game. Not only it 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 creates a new job. It is the fisherman, right here. He has he will get soon a fishing pole, so he can fish, and it also makes the maps look so much better. Look at this map. This is awesome. You have like a plains over here. I have some a concave of mountains here or hills and this river that goes goes past the map um, and some shallow water over here and a stone formation. Unfortunately I just spent 20 minutes recording and explaining a lot of things to you guys but Fraps didn't record and yeah I had to start over. So anyway so this um, includes this version includes um, water as you can see and the way you can actually um, decide yourself if you want water on your map or not you can if on the the world map if you choose to settle near a river or a coastal like the coast you will be told um, that the map will contain either a river or a coastal line and this is of course a river as you can see a coastal line is like a more a solid bo body of water that actually touches like a massive amount of the uh, like a large part of the edge of the map and um, it can take like half the map actually and make it plain water but that's ultra cool if you don't want water you can just pick a spot that isn't near water on the map and you will have a map without water that's pretty cool um, what this water allows you to is make your villagers swim and I like this animation very much um, right now this is just transportation there's nothing no risk no anything with it but in the future you will be able once fatigue is implemented if you get fatigued or like fill up the bar or something your units will drown and they will die and um, so you can't just have them swim all over the place unfortunately um, I can't actually tell my unit to just like go out here and stay there I can't move him around in the water I can just make him pass the water um, like swim across and um, but but you can kill I could send him from here to far over here and I could have him be fatigued and he would die so I can now suicide my units if I so wish um, what more I, I what my what did I do with this map um, boom, boom, boom. oh anyway there's uh, there's of course some box with the water because it's a new thing and um, what you can do is you can actually divert the water I could dig like a, a trench in here in the land and the water would actually flow in and you can then make a moat that way. Unfortunately, um, there's a bug that uh, for some reason the water only flows like 10 to 15 blocks in and then it stops. So that has to be fixed at some point, but it of course will be. When, let's see what I have been doing. I started with sucky farmers and I only have like five pumpkin seeds, so I decided to make two of my guys foragers because I had like started with three level three for whoa excuse me three level three foragers and a level four wood chopper and a level three miner that I sent into this piece of mountain I will be making this guy a fisherman the, the, the cool thing is like normally you say oh I only have five seats and I have a sucky farmer holy crap I'm going to remake this map I'm going to generate another one but that's not needed anymore because with a fisherman, the fisherman is supposed to be like an alternative to farming. It is not like the forager, like at some point the forager will run out of things to forage and you will have to use a farmer. But now you can choose between farming or fishing. So you can actually just have like five fishermen standing down here and providing you with uh, enough food to feed all your villagers. I will by the way be making a square tower this time on this hilltop here. I'm done with round things for now because <laughs> it's so annoying to make and I might always also make a tower here um, and then maybe like a wall here or something I'll have like a neat little fortress here and maybe build like a village over here defended by the edge of the map which of course doesn't doesn't work um, so that's the thing I might just dig a trench or something to avoid if I do that um, yeah, things are still going pretty slow. 
I ordered my guy to make a fishing rod. I don't know if that failed. I hope not. It did not. He calls this a fishing pole. I'm not. Let's take a look at this. So he walks into the water. No, he's actually not in the water. He just walks to the edge. Now, and then he fishes. What? Uh, successfully craft fishing pole. Oh, that's just. What preference do we have? Resource gathered. Return to campfire with enemies' bodies. Gather fish for food. Awesome. And then he will stand there. It takes a while. Um, once he, he's gathered a fish, I'm going to send him somewhere else to see if he will. Like here to see if the fishing pole actually has to be like at the edge of the water or if he is allowed to be like higher up away from the water. I'm just curious. Oh, whoa, 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 lag, lag, or roughs, something. Um, yeah. But did I. God damn, I love this map. I hope that my next save game will be compatible. I didn't check this time. He gave us free food, fish. That is very uh, effective. I like the animation style too. Um, so, I, yeah, I hope that I will be able to keep this map for a couple of versions because I really like it. Really, really like it. Um, and I think that the next update won't be as intrusive. It won't be breaking save games, I think. Um, I can, of course, can't know until it's out, but I don't think it's that big, huge of an issue. Yeah, that, this is a bit. This is a big awkward. He will just. He won't bother. He he doesn't mind mind if he's like swimming or walking. So, yeah. What really? Okay. He he can't actually. He he has to be at a like the same level as the, as the water edge in order to fish. That's kind of curious. Um, but I guess it's all right. Um, do I have my tools? How much food did I have? Plenty of food. Awesome, I have lots of animal hair, lots of feather, lots of... What do I have, actually? I have two copper swords. Uh, so like, by the way, this fisher guy, he is awesome. He's freak Elias, or Elias. Level 3, level 3, level 3, level 2. That is awesome. Fisherman, builder, archer, he could live by himself. He's fucking Rambo. Um, but, and, and some of my other guys, they aren't worth a lot. This guy would be awesome, but I already have two other level 3 foragers, so... Meh. But it's fine. Whoa, my screen is going crazy. Look at this. Holy crap. I have no idea. It's only in this game it does it. Like, at least this bad. I don't... I I do a false vertical sync from NVIDIA, but uh, like in my driver, but... Whatever the hell you say. But it's not working. For some reason. At least it not, it's not helping. Um... more did I have to say? Actually, I'm not going to make a super long episode right now because, hey, um, there's not much to do. Anyway, guys, if, if you like this episode, make sure to comment and like and subscribe if you so wish. And if you didn't like it, if I said something stupid or did something stupid, tell me in the comments below because I would like feedback and it's a great thing. Um, recently, I've been getting on all my videos, five minutes after they've been uploaded, they have been getting a dislike. Like, there's one video that didn't get a dislike, and that, I think it's just because the dude didn't watch it. But it's like, just when I upload the video, it gets a dislike, and it's like, you didn't even watch it, you idiot! Just, ah. Uh. Anyway, um, so let me know if I'm doing something stupid. Yeah. I hope you have a great weekend, guys, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.